Listen, years ago, Bishop Hammond, I, I, had, I had this prophetic word. Y'all can stand for just a second. I had this prophetic word that God had anointed me to see the wolf and to see the snake. What a great word, right? Okay. Well, we had some things happen at the ministry, and I saw it, but I didn't say anything. You know why? Because I was always taught, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Okay? But sometimes what we have to do is who to say things to, okay? So afterwards, I said to Bishop, I said, well, I kind of saw that happening. And he said, well, why didn't you say something? I said, I didn't know I had freedom. And so you know what he did? He laid hands on me, and he activated the gift of discernment in me. And when he activated that gift of discernment, I want to tell you that it was all already there, and, but the next day I went to church. And y'all know I love people, right? Um, this was back in the days when we hugged. Do you remember that? Okay. Um, and I went to church. This was in a little building across the street. And I saw somebody, oh, hi. I ran up and I hugged them. And as I hugged them, it was like the veil got taken away. And I saw all the stuff. And I was like, Bleh. Put up that very last screen, that one that says apocalypsis, okay? And I'm going to leave you with this. What happened to me was this. Paul said, God's given us eyes to see so that he will reveal things to us. This word revealed is the word apokalupsis. Apokalupsis in Greek means to take away the veil. So what happens, it's literally like God pulls a curtain back and you see into the realm of the spirit. That's what happened. Bishop laid hands on me. All of a sudden, apokalupsis. I was always there. I just wasn't activated in it. Okay, the veil had to be removed. All of a sudden, the veil's removed. I don't like what I'm seeing. How many, how many get that? Sometimes we don't like what we're seeing. <laughs> so this went on for about a week, and I went back to Bishop, and I said, you put your hands back on me, and you take this gift back. I don't want this, okay? I do not want this. I do not like this. And you know what he did? He said, no. He said, you're going to have to learn to operate at this new level. And he said that he would help me. And he's helped me and my husband's helped me. Because believe me, during those days, I wanted to shoot everybody and tell God they died. Okay? <laughs> We're coming to a higher level of discernment. But I'm telling you, it's not so that we can judge each other. That's not what it's about. It's not about judging each other. It's about having a greater ability to walk in love so that people can come into freedom. Are there wolves? Yes. Are there snakes? Yes. We'll deal with those. Okay? But what God is saying is, do you dare move into this season of apocalypsis? It'll be different for you. I think that God's matured us as a prophetic people over time. But how many are willing to, for God to bring you into an apocalypsis season? Dreams, visions, an ability to see, an ability to hear. Because I'm telling you, when you've heard the voice of God, you can't help but be bold. You can't help but move in courage. When you hear God. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that we're living in the time of an open heaven. God, evil thinks they've won, but, Lord, your kingdom's advancing. Your church is advancing. And, God, we're going to see what we need to see. We're going to see angels. We're going to see the demons. We're going to see the things that are operating in people that we need to know how to respond. And you're going to give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we can operate and advance your kingdom in Jesus' name. Lord, the same way Bishop laid hands on me all those years ago. Everybody that's got their hand up, Father, I, I pray right now, God, you'll lay hands on them and just open up a whole new place, God, of removing the veil so that we can see and hear personal prophetic strategies, corporate prophetic strategies, and even national prophetic strategies that cause your kingdom to advance in Jesus' name. Amen. We're called to watch and pray. Ephesians 6, 18 says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful. 1 Peter 5, 8 says, be sober, be, be vigilant, because our adversary, the devil, walks as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now, that word vigilant is, comes from a Greek word, which means to watch, to stay awake, to pay close attention to. So what he's, and it literally has this connotation of to walk watching. Everybody say that. Walk watching. Or drive watching. Okay? Walk watching, drive watching, fly watching. However it is, whatever it is you're doing, we need to be watchful. We need to be watching what God has called us to do. So I want to pray for you. Um, if you're willing for God to wake you up to pray. If you're willing, God, to get your attention during the day. If you're willing for God to interrupt you 
so that you could be on assignment, I want you to stand to your feet. Don't stand up because he will wake you up in the middle of the night if you're not really happy about that, okay? Now I want us just to lift up our hands. Father, I thank you right now, God. I thank you, Lord, the same way that a, that a, that a, a civilian gets sworn into the army. I thank you, God, that today is a day of swearing in. A day of swearing in to your army, your watchman army, the army of the Lord. People that are ready at a moment's notice to watch and pray. People that are ready at a moment's notice to be mobilized to do whatever God asks us to do. Maybe watching is seeing the fact that that person's an unbeliever and God sends you to preach the gospel to them. Maybe watching is somebody that needs healing and God says, I want you to go over and lay hands on them. I had y'all standing up before I told you that part, didn't I? Okay? God, I pray right now, God, for a spirit of boldness to come upon each and every one. Father God, a spirit of courage, God, to break out of timidity, to break out of fear, to break out of a mindset that says, I can't do this, to break out of everything, Father God, that would try to hold us back and hold us down. Lord, we decree right now, Father God, that you're breaking your church into a whole new season. And God, you're telling us that breakthrough is coming, but God, you've already said breakthrough's here. And God, the breaker is on the inside of us. And so, Father, I thank you right now, God, that you're anointing us, you're appointing us, and you're giving us the mantle, Father God, to carry the mantle for breakthrough, to watch and to pray. Now, I was going to preach one more point, but we're done because the music's on. But we're going to, we're gonna, I'm just going to pray for you for discernment, okay? We're going to just let that music keep going, okay? Because we're going to pray for you for discernment. Because if we're going to do this, we got to come to a whole new level of being able to see in the Spirit. we got to come to a whole new level of being able to discern angels, be able to discern demons, be able to discern the things that are taking place around us. So lift your hands just a little bit higher. Father, this is a prophetic house. But Lord, we thank you, God, that you brought us here today to sharpen our blade. Lord, to sharpen the blade of discernment, to sharpen the blade of the prophetic, to sharpen the blade of the gifts of the Spirit. God, you are causing us to break out of our zone of comfortability and to step into places, Father God, where we're fully engaged and fully participating with the advancement. God, we take our shield of faith, Father God, as our gear to push back darkness. We take our shield of faith, Father God. We take the helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness. We have our loins girt about with truth and we have our feet, Lord, shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Lord, war boots. You put war boots on us, God. And Lord, today I thank you, God, that you're raising this people up, Father God, here at Vision Church and here at Vision Nation. God, we're not going to just be a casual comfortable Christian church God but we are going to be a mobilized army that are going to push back evil that are going to watch and pray that are going to see wherever the enemy is operating and we're going to push him out of that zone we're going to forbid him and we're going to allow the, 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 the sweeping move of your Holy Spirit I pray right now God for every family I pray right now God for every individual and I thank you God for showing us how we can lock our shields so that we can move forward in this day of advancement in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and on the count of three we're gonna give one more war cry one two three Hua! now I want you to understand what just happened is that God's mantled you for the new day new courage new discernment and a new ability to see